Hello guys and welcome to a very important video, really. Before we start, I just want to sort myself out a little bit because you know a true car guy when your car is literally an extension of yourself. Especially over this like lockdown period or well, the whole year pretty much. Not really taking care of my appearance really. Uh, or presentation shall we say and I haven't done that with the Type R at all it's probably had one and a half wash shall we say which is pretty much a wash with no dry and one time it had uh, a snow foam and that's it but I want to sort that out so I'm going to give the car a quick wash proper wash and, uh, and, and, and look after myself a little bit a bit more, bit more presentable shall we say and hopefully it's not as windy when I come back oh. That's a little bit better. I actually can see my skin now rather than just being sideburns tickling inside of my ears. Horrible. Anyway, I feel a bit better about myself. Car kind of does, I'd say. Uh, it were washed about a week ago now, so it is dirty again, to be fair. But it's better than it were. The rubbers aren't green, they're black, which is a good, a good thing. But anyway, no more time wasting. Let's, let's get on with the reason why we're doing this video, uh, which is a, a very, very, very special OEM Honda manufactured part. It's going to be life changing, absolutely life changing for me personally, anyway. So, without further ado, without further ado, let's let's have a look around the car and see if we can spot it. Right, so let's just have a quick look. Sorry about the wind as well. It's always windy around here, around the back. Don't look at that either. Don't look at that's. We'll we'll get rid of that at some point. Um, so look in the boot. Is it in here? What we got in here? Now it's a it's a bag for life. That's pretty much it. Big shout out to Aldi. And, and and a gentleman's umbrella, which we don't need. That is a, a Honda umbrella, is it? That's that's the main thing. Is it in the engine bay? Let's um, pop this hood. Is it something engine bay related? God, I need, is it, is it? No, it's not, um, it's not air struts. And no, there's no fancy fuel rail. Nothing, nothing new either. Right, okay, so it's not in there. It's on the outside of the car. We should have seen in the little shots that you've just seen. Is there anything interior wise? Oh hey up. Well, you know now, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty much the big announcement that me and Francesca are going to be having our first child. Madness! Very, very, very excited. We've been wanting this for a long time and it's finally happening. We're going to be a little family. Before you say anything in comments, don't panic. The car's not going anywhere, I'm not going anywhere, the channel's not going anywhere. Only thing will be it, like as you can imagine, we've got, I'll be. I'll have to, we'll have to find time to do videos as well as look after another human being, which obviously takes priority. Which that's kind of why it's been a while since I've, I've done a video because I've been getting spare bedroom all literally gutted and stripped, ready to redo and redecorate for them to be there and sleep there. So yeah, I've not really talked about stuff like this before, so I don't know what I'm really meant to say other than. I'm chuffed to bits, we're chuffed to bits, and I hope you guys are as well. If you ever, if you're wondering about those dummies, I actually got them from Tegua. They sell them there. A lot more money than normal dummies, but I thought it would be worth it to do for the sake of this video. To be fair, and another big shout out to the print room where I've had any of my clothing or anything printed um, or embroidered. That's where I've always gone, and they've smashed it out of the park with the baby grow as well so that's perfect give them a shout if you want anything personally printed and now you probably understand why i wanted to sort out the leaking first in the daily before i wanted to sort it out of this car because i don't want a fusty daily car to put a baby seat in as you can imagine and now we're back on track and now we're making some more videos i will say that there is some things coming for this car relating to maintenance modification and aesthetics so that's all things that are going to get sorted um, but the first thing, first things first, we need to sort these brakes out because they are getting hot, especially on the driver's side, from binding. 
uh, when I'm driving around and we've got some lovely PBS brake pads on there that I don't really fancy wasting. And fingers crossed with shows going ahead, Mims Croft is one that I'm really excited about if that still goes ahead because my ticket from last year when it was meant to happen and the track time ticket crosses over. So we need to make sure that the car is spick and span uh, performance wise, health wise, before we do anything like that. So that is the, this car's not going to move from here now until we get them calipers off and rebuilt. But yeah, I think that's all I've really got to say today. I know it's a really short video, but I hope you found it nice and I hope you found it ex exciting and, and I know it's like a new chapter. I don't want to use that kind of like soppy terminology, but it pretty much is like it will be the start of the rest of our lives having somebody else in our household that we've got to look after and care for. And yeah, it's crazy crazy and i look about 12 but i am 26 I, I will say that i've had people comment before like you look about 16 no no i am i am i'm 10 years 10 years older than that <laughs> we'll end the video here then guys thank you so much for watching thank you for sharing this moment with me um with this announcement please like the videos if you do enjoy um, and it does really help get my videos out there and subscribe to the channel so um you can click the bell button as well and that will let you know when a fresh video does come on um, if you want to chat with me or chill out with me in the meantime I have been going on Twitch quite often um, playing games like The Last of Us Part 2 sometimes racing games as well a bit of Dirt Rally, Project Cars, that kind of thing that's the one thing that has changed that the built sim rig is, is no longer usable because it isn't foldable and it's a big wooden structure and then I've been lucky to get one of the play seat challenge foldable rigs so that I can now go back downstairs into the living room instead of being that in the spare room which will be the baby's room and when that's all folded up as you can see it's quite tight so that can hide behind something in the living room when that's not in use but like I said other than that everything's as it is we're still business as usual and at the point of filming I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet so I'll share that with you guys as soon as we know thanks again for watching and like I always say enjoy the rest of your day bye <laughs>